life, I have never, ever deviated from Greyhound's rules, regulations, policies, and procedures. In the 32 years I've been driving these buses, folks, I've always been by the book. And I have always, always put your safety and your comfort first and foremost. I will not allow anyone to sit aboard this bus and disturb another Greyhound passenger. Not going to happen. That zero tolerance policy now includes them annoying cell phones. For those of you that happen to have a cell phone, please place your cell phones on vibrate. Do not allow your cell phones to ring throughout this bus, please, as they do and they will disturb Greyhounds paying passengers. If you cannot activate the vibration mode on your cell phone or you can't stop it from ringing, then you must turn your annoying cell phone completely off. We are not going to sit up here for four and a half hours listening to cell phones ringing throughout this bus. If you are talking on a cell phone, again, this is a serious and major problem as it does annoy and disturb Greyhound's passengers. Your unwanted cell phone conversations, not to mention the nonsense that some of y'all talk on them cell phones, I'm going to tell it to you like it is. I'm not saying all of you. I'm saying some of them conversations. Pure, pure, nothing but nonsense. And once again, you don't have the right to sit there and force that on Greyhound's passenger. They don't want to hear what's going on in your life. Not to mention the nonsense some of y'all talk for themselves. All these folks on these buses have rights, and their rights include not being disturbed. Now, let's have a pleasant and safe trip. We have just a little over four hours to travel on into Washington, D.C. And again, please don't do or say anything aboard this bus that will definitely have you taken off this bus out here in the middle of nowhere by the state police in one of these little small towns out here where Greyhound buses do not come. You'll create a serious nightmare for yourself. And, I, and it's something I, I just don't want to do. But if it's necessary, I do do it. I'm not bragging about it. But if you violate the zero tolerance policy, Greyhound rules, regulations, and procedures aboard this bus, then you'll leave me, you'll leave me no other choice. Again, I'd like to thank you for going Greyhound. Please keep in mind that there are other passengers aboard this bus when you're talking. Please keep your voice to a low minimum. And please don't force your unwanted cell phone conversations or your casual conversations on Greyhound's passengers. Now that zero tolerance policy includes your loud talking, that annoying gum popping, that cursing, that profanity, that vulgarity. We are not going to have none of that aboard this bus. Now again, if you're playing or listening to music, Please use your headsets, earphones, keep the volume turned down so as not to disturb Greyhound's passengers. And on behalf of Greyhound, my fellow co-workers, and myself, I sincerely thank each and every one of you for traveling Greyhound.